Now, I know these are difficult times, and I know folks are worried. But I believe we can steer ourselves out of this crisis because I believe in this country. This is the United States of America. This is, this is a nation that's faced down war and oppression, great challenges, and great threats. And at each and every moment, we have risen to meet these challenges, not as Democrats or Republicans, but as Americans, with resolve and with courage. We've seen our share of hard times. The American story has never been about things coming easy. It's been about rising to the moment when the moment is hard about having steel nerves when things are fearful, about rejecting the panic division for purposeful unity, about seeing a mountaintop from the deepest valley. And that's why we remember some of the most famous words ever spoken by an American came from a president who took office in a time of turmoil. He said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. So now is not the time for fear. Now is not the time for panic. Now is not the time to turn Americans against each other. Now is the time for resolve and steady leadership. And we can meet this moment. We can come together to restore confidence in the American economy. We can renew that fundamental belief that in America, our destiny is not written for us. It's written by us. That's who we are. And that's the country that we need to be right now. Remember, America still has the most talented, most productive workers of any country on earth. You know this, Ohio. We're the home of the workers who built the largest middle class in history. We're the home to workers who work two or three jobs. Some of them take the last bus home or, or drive that old car at night because they want something more for their children. They're willing to put off immediate gratification to make sure that the next generation is better off. We're the home to innovation and technology, colleges and universities that are the envy of the world. Some of the biggest, brightest ideas in history have come from our small businesses, from our research facilities, from somebody's backyard or garage. So it won't be easy, but there's no reason why we can't make this century another American century. Yes, we can. 